So I had had a very good training week and uh, was having a training session on my life on last Monday and then Tuesday came and it was also a good training session and I was uh, finishing um, the day with split jerks and I had one set left, I was feeling great, I hadn't hit a weight like that so easily in such a long time and I had one set left and was so like just motivated, it was uh, two days before the open and I was just like, oh, everything's clicking at the right time. And uh, and then I was jumping back in a split jerk and my friend is filming me. And he just looks at me like, what, why did you drop it? And I was just like, something clicked in my knee and it was, it was pretty uh, uncomfortable. Stop filming, it was just like, how serious is it? I was like, I, it's not serious at all, it was just a small click. Always when something happens, you start testing stuff around to see how serious it is. So I was like, okay, can I, can I extend? And I, I could extend, but my knee was so wobbly. I, I don't know why, but my first reaction was like, can I jump back into a burpee? <laughs> I just wanted to see how it would be, like, because it was so unstable. And I was like, if I jump, like, if I'm jumping, it has to be even more stable. So I'll get the proof there. Like, I just went slow, but I could feel like the knee was just so loose. So uh, I contacted uh, a doctor and I contacted a um, masseuse. Went to get, get a massage in the evening to try to get the swelling out. And... I was so positive that it was just a little bit swelling. I just needed maybe anti-inflammatory because it's two days until the open and I was just like, I need to do everything now to be 100% after two days. And then the next day I, I see the doctor and, uh, and I think this was probably the biggest shock of everything. My name is Örn Olver Valdimarsson. I'm, a, I'm an orthopedic specialist. He was working with me when I broke my ribs and stuff like that and, and we're just, we're good friends also. And I actually just called him to tell him that I just need, can I get anti-inflammatory because something small clicked in my knee and I'm actually good but it's just a little bit swollen. And he's like, no, I want to see you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, subscribe anything until I see what's going on. As he came here in the afternoon and uh, I tested the knee and uh, then I realized immediately that it was a torn ACL. And I'm sitting on the bench and he's testing the knee and he has a mask on. And then I just see his eyes are like, and then he looks down and I was like, what, what, what's going on? And he's just like, nothing. And then he goes to the left knee and tests that. And then he just gives me a look again. And I, and I just got a sting in my heart because I just saw that it was something serious. And I was like, what? What's on your mind? Like, what's happening? Can you please tell me? She has always her eyes wide open. She's, they, are, they are wide open usually. And, but they open a tiny bit more. <laughs> That's not good. Tarek got in Icelandic. Tarek got. That's not, and I said, That's not good. Then I asked him before I left, like, Are you sure that you think it's a tornado? Like, I was still trying to get some hope like I always go straight to like okay what's the good in this like <laughs> trying to find find something but I wasn't finding anything at, at that time and I was like how many percentages are you sure of this actually being true and he was like 98 and I was like okay two percent I, I can't I can deal with that <laughs> so I called Snorri after and I was like there's still two percent that this is not happening <laughs> and uh and then, of course, like after that, I was just always testing, like, yeah, like, I, I'm almost extending the knee now, and yeah, 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 I can do this. Like, I was, I was in so much denial still, and my feeling still said, like, you're still competing after two days. Like, this can't be happening. So I was in denial for about two days until I got the scan, and then I just uh, saw it on the photo or on the scan, and... Yeah, I had a torn ACL and then the next big shock was just I have to have surgery and my 2021 season is off. What's always been good about me is that I can always find, like I said, the positiveness in everything. So those 2% after a 
after they uh, left me, <laughs> I just found the positivity and like, okay, this is what I have now. What can I do with what I have now? Yes, when I told her, you have a torn ligament, uh, we have to do an MRI and uh, but we, you have to go, we have to do this operation and she said, okay, I'm ready now, we start now and what can I do to uh, be at the best for the operation and uh, I want to do everything as best. So she has this positive thinking and that's that's necessary for every athlete to have okay i'm having surgery 12th of april what can i do in this period of time to be as good as i can be before the surgery so i'll be better in recovering so uh, i'm working with a physio and we started rehabilitation exercises yesterday so we're just trying to uh, maintain as much muscle mass in my legs as we possibly can uh, without it uh, like without the knee swelling up again and so I already have a goal until the surgery after the surgery I'm gonna make a new goal that's gonna be a month again after that month I'm gonna make a new goal so I'm gonna think about this like I've always thought about like when you're running a marathon you don't think about oh my gosh I'm running 42k you think about the 1k that you're running at that exact time you're trying to hold a specific pace at that 1k so I'm gonna think about my recovery process as this 1k this is now just this week what can I do with what I have how can I get one step closer of where I want to be I mean I'm already super motivated to come back like I've had so many setbacks in my career. I think that everything happens for a reason. And I think also that this now is just part of how I can become an even better athlete. Of course, I've had some negative emotions also. One hour I'm super happy and motivated, then the next hour I'm realizing like, I'm not gonna compete and I'm gonna see everybody else compete. and this is uh, what I train for every day and this is my life like my life has always or always has now been just around training for the past seven years I put so much pressure on me on wanting to do well and I have my why of like why I'm doing what I do and you feel there like you're letting people down around you because you're not proving like I always want to be an inspiration for young kids and for or just for everybody that like how I started this was so random like started CrossFit was just like I put in the hard work and I got the reward and that's that's pretty much my why is that people that think that they can't do something they just have to start and do the work and I feel now like when something like this happens is like I have my sponsors I have fans I have my family and everybody lives or how I think about it is that everybody lives in this through me and now I have done something so they can't experience this with me. I've already decided that this is just gonna make me even more motivated to have the most epic comeback in the CrossFit story so I'm just this is my motivation as soon as I am negative and I'm feeling sorry for myself and I'm such a victim of why does this always happen to me I'm just like hey this happened to me and I'm actually capable of dealing with this in the right way and I'm gonna use this to be even more stronger in my game. I have so many areas that need to be improved. Uh, I started CrossFit by myself in a hotel gym. <laughs> I didn't have a pull-up bar. I didn't have any uh, female lifting bars. We had like three bars that were all for bench press or power lifting. So how I started CrossFit was pretty rough and I didn't know that much about, like I just started training when I was 17 and then I started CrossFit 21. So I didn't know much about movement or anything. So I think what I have an opportunity on now is learning how to do things 100% correctly instead of I just learned it in some kind of way and I got super good at because I was my mind was so focused on getting better and and of course like fixing some things throughout the year but I think that I've always missed like the basic ground of before you go to the next level in CrossFit like the first level of just basic movements so I think I'll get the opportunity there 
and I think I have now also an opportunity to deal with my mind, deal with myself. <laughs> and that's going to be probably the most challenging thing. Uh, and then, like, I have so many things that I want to improve in my area, and and I actually, as soon as this, as soon as I got the news, I was like, okay, this is going to be a very challenging time. Uh, what do I need to do to make this less challenging? And I have always been super uh, goal oriented. Like I need goals to thrive. And now I should all of a sudden just sleep in and relax and I'm not competing. That, like that's not how I work. I just get a new project and I focus on that. So I just wrote down all the things that I want to do in this period of time. I just called Snorri and I was like, hey, can I get a desk at your office? I need to wake up every morning and I need to be somewhere at a specific time and I'm just gonna study. I have this project too, I have this project too, so I'm gonna finish everything there at your office. So I'm just, I'm working for you now <laughs> for a year. So I just decided that I would make these small things that need to be done before I'm the CrossFit Sarah again. I want to look back and just first of all I want to like put my hand around me and say like you did well young grasshopper you did well <laughs> but then I want to also just be like don't make any stupid decisions of like when I'm when I've been in bed for three weeks and I'm finally able to use my leg I'm not gonna go bike for eight hours or something like be smart in the rehab like that's what I want to take from this is like trust your team that is helping you with this and like stay calm like what this has also taught me is that when you're a professional athlete nothing else matters in this world but being as good as you can be like if i have a dinner party with my friends the only thing that i'm thinking about is like or not the only thing but part of what i'm thinking about is like I need to bring my food because I need this nutrition in, I need to hit these macros, I need to be home at this time because I need this amount of sleep. Like everything is around that you won't get fatigued for training next day or you won't mess up training or something like that. Like you can't really just take the hat off when you're done training of like, okay, now I'm not an athlete anymore, now I'm just Sarah. It doesn't work like that because being an athlete is 80% nutrition because that's your that's your energy and you you use your energy in training so so like everything is always about how you can be better the next day versus how you were today like what percentage can you do today to be better tomorrow and i think that what this uh, injury has taught me a little bit is that i had forgotten that there is something else than just being an athlete like like the people that have supported me now and everything, I'm like, wow, they actually love me because I'm Sarah, not because I have been to the games a few times and I'm good in CrossFit. Like, you see that there's something else also, but it also makes me so hungry to be the athlete because I'm like, okay, this mattered this much to me and that's the reason why I have always been so committed to what I'm doing because I love this so much and now I can't. Like, I can't do what I want to do, so it makes me even more hungry. Like, this is the reason why I'm doing this, because I love this so much. I mean, I have had that dream of being the fittest woman on earth since I saw 2015 that I could possibly be it. Like, before the CrossFit Games 2015, I had no belief that I could ever be the fittest on earth. And, and then getting the leader shirt, it was so unreal, and something just something started here in my heart of just like i really want to be the fittest on earth and i can actually be like my body is capable of doing it this is still my biggest goal and this is still what I, i'm living for now and i'm gonna do everything that i can to be there one day and okay i could look at this acl tear of just like okay maybe i should just start to relax and just find something else and my body isn't handling this like no, it's just a test of 
how much do I really want this? And am I gonna pass the test or am I gonna or am I gonna fail it? And of course I'm gonna pass it. Like there's no other option in 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 my head. I have always believed then if you don't give up, if you just keep on going, no matter how freaking hard it is, you are going to get what you deserve. And I am hundred percent sure. 98% sure <laughs> that I will be a better athlete after this injury, 100%. This is going to be a good rest for my body, like I'm going to be for a year not competing in big competitions and that's so taxing on the body and I've been on such a high drive for such a long time that maybe this is just something that needed to happen for me to, to rise again. So I am h more hungry than ever to show what my body and my mind is freaking capable of. And I can't wait to show it 2022. I've received so so many beautiful messages and so much support and so much love and it always touches my heart when I, when I receive this support and when you sometimes have an injury you feel so alone and you feel you just want to I just want to go into a corner and close the door and nobody's around me and you just want to be small but like you you don't know how much you have until something like this happens and how many people are so supportive and I'm, I just want to say like thank you guys so much for all the messages for giving yourself time to message me to make me feel better and yeah like it's been unreal.